If you have old cassettes with valuable material on them, you can replace the housing and maintain the original tape. Here's the process. Drilling out the actual case itself and subbing out another case in its place. No going back. So we want to see if this will open up for us. Because this version does not have screw holes. So we try to transfer the tape that's in here to here. Both TDK formats, but they're different designs. Let's see if I can't pop it open. Being very gentle. The days of cassettes are gone. The trick is to take the screws out and then carefully lift the old tape out of the old case in order to transfer it to a new case. It was very, very difficult to get off the old housing. It had already been drilled out, but it cracked open almost like a walnut. So I have an old one and I have a new one. The white tape on the right there is the leader tape. That's like a starter tape that you can splice into. It gives you a clean start. The darker tape is actual tape with the audio recording on it. And I had tweezers and tape and scissors to piece it together. Here I've just spliced it together. We're in the process of splicing the tape together. Yeah, here's the actual splice itself to connect the tape. Everything has to be wound correctly. If it starts to open up and twist and you end up with the recorded material on the wrong side, that's not a good thing. Here I'm carefully lifting up the spool to place it into the new housing. And it went in fairly good. If that thing had opened up and fallen, it would probably have been a mess. Might have been a no-go. There's good old material on here from 15 years back, so I wanted to try to maintain it. I've done this once or twice before, been fairly successfully. Here I'm trying to wind it back up tighten it up so I have control over the tape itself. Delicate process. But it kind of came together. And then the next step is to screw in the new cassette together for the final product. And when I reattached the Phillips screws, they didn't quite go in nicely, but they're not ever designed really to come back out. So then I want to, what I want to do is play this one time and transfer it and be done. There's another goodie, Divine Love sound system, um, master tapes. Okay, so if this works, I'll press this. Rich Love. This is the racetrack announcer, Greg Young from Northfield Park. Yeah, and that's the process to repair a broken cassette tape as opposed to just throwing out something that you might find valuable. You can actually repair it, record it onto the computer, and it's good as new for the next generation. Good luck.